Then, um... We only took three. That's fine, though. This gets thrown. What do we have? Merchant. Chantry. There was some fire. This happened, my guy. Improved drain. Oh, that's what he's stunned. What's that codex actually? Spell combination. The victim of an invulnerability hex must be wary not only of the damage from the elements, but also spell casters who wish to sap life or mana to restore their own bodies. The spell drain life and mana drain is twice are affecting those. Oh, that's cool. That's actually really cool. This must be the bridge. On it. Someone up there. 
landmark tree. Another freaking bandit. He freaking died. Oh boy. That's not good. A lesser no <laughs> vulnerability. Do you still no you don't actually there you go. drain life. I'm so sorry. Press the lesser. Hmm. 
now in the meantime. What was the actual quest? Which was from the Chantry board. Ah, oh, report back. Cool. or somewhere over here. No. I don't understand why they have barium, but What's the... Oh. Giant spiders. Giant spiders tend to appear, appear in old ruins after... Old ruins in other places where the veil has become thin because of magical disturbances or a greater number of deaths. In such places, spirits and demons pass into the world of the living and attempt to take control over living beings, spiders among them. Not all scholars accept this explanation for the presence of these beasts, however. Some claim that the thinning veil allow, allow magic to leak from the fade, tanning such creatures as these spiders to transform into larger and more potent creatures. 
than they ever will become naturally. All such spiders are known to possess powerful poisons and the ability to fling their webs at opponents in combat. Studies of them have been few and the full range of their abilities are unknown. Oh boy. Yeah, that wasn't something we needed. We can go that way after we turn this in. And we still don't have the trap. So I take it you did not enjoy your Templar training? That's directed at me, I take it. Do you see any others about who have failed at their religious instruction? I didn't fail. I was recruited into the Grey Wardens. And if you had not been recruited, what would have happened instead? I would have turned into a drooling lunatic, slaughtered the Grand Cleric, and run through the streets of Denham in my small clothes, I guess. Your self-awareness does you credit. <laughs> I thought you'd like that. The path of righteousness is full of hardship, but the Maker smiles upon its travelers. Ooh, I feel like Alistair leveled up, but still. Right. When bears attack, on behalf of Thade, the farmer, and his departed, this departed son, I inscribe this missile. As the ma Maker is my witness, I charge all these... I charge all those with knowledge of arms and armor to brave the dangers of the northern wood to find the family of bears that mauled and killed the boy in it. For they are an abomination in the Maker's sight, and their hides will prove great comfort to the northern farms and so does for Thay's family. As Chandler for Lotharin, I do pledge a sum of one sovereign to whoever carries out this. The Maker's will excuse caution first, and foremost, may his light bathe us all. The last keepsake. A thanks to all villagers who've opened their barns and crops to the refugees in these dark times. The Chantry regularly hears praise from our visitors and your virtuous deeds are mentioned in her my prayers. Sadly, there is a lone boy in the village whose mother, good wife Sarah, is missing and she has been missing for the better part of a week as of this writing. She is presumed dead. May the Maker bless her passing. She was a lady of middle years with red hair and a find of cloak and find of a green cloak. If any traveler or resident come across her in the wilds, please return her body or the effects of her remains. In later years, the bar will be thankful for, to those such keepsakes to remember his brave mother by. The office of the chanter will compensate this kindness with the sum of 50 silver. May the maker turn his gaze on us all. Oh, that's this really quick. Constitution. Dex. Let's do Learns to compensate for the weight of a shield in combat no longer suffers an attack penalty while using shield defense. Thank you. We'll take it. And last, where are we going? We were going back to the wall, weren't we? Dane, Gentry, Lord. Oh, oh, 
did not realize that. Let's see. Oh, that's annoying. Let's get started. Found the body of the boy's mother and have recovered her keepsake. That's sad. No beast is more beloved by Darethman than the bear. When the world was new, Darethman gave one secret to each creature to keep. The foxes traded their secrets to Andrew for wings. The hare shot at theirs to the treetops. The birds sold theirs for gold and silver. Only the bears kept 
stirred the men's guilt deep within their dens. They stuffed the months away in the company of their secrets and nothing else. When Dirt the Men discovered what had been done with his gift, he snatched the wings from the foxes, silenced the, vitus, the voices of the hares, and turned their birds into paupers. But the bears he honored for their steadfastness. Transcribed from Dalish Tale 9 8 Dragon. Normally, it is almost unheard of for the bears to attack travelers. They are, in fact, so shy and so inactive during the day that most people never encounter a bear at all. However, such a bear, should a bear be provoked, they are remarkably dangerous. The normally placid looking creatures become enraged and can strike massive blows with their paws, capable of knocking a man off his feet. They have nothing on them. Which is fine. Let's leave. Go back. I would earn money right now though. Need a backpack. If you find that dwarf, we'll probably get a backpack. Chase, do you have anything else to say? The carnage we left in the wilds was horrifying. Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. And the stars stood still, the winds did quiet, and all animals of earth and air held their breath. All was silent in prayer and thanks. Nah. That's it? Let's get started. Yep. Last but not least. <laughs> don't suppose you're looking to buy something. All right. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't buy everything up. Well, you said multiple times. Oh, we have eight gold. Or the sovereigns. What's. Oh, whatever they call it. Um. Fine. Red male boots. Red male. Ugh, gloves. I'm not buying nothing else for you, my guy. That was too much. Acid. Just buy one. And oh, when do we get this? Old keeper. Ooh. Don't want the short sword. Don't want the dagger. Might as well sell this. No, it's the only dwarven thing we have right now. Let's do. Let's give away the mace. Oh, I forgot we found son of a gun. Sell that. Alistair. Alright. In my guy. Close. Now. Chain. Oh, sucks. Men are resistant. I think that's the set. Yep. 
waste of spit mail that I just freaking bought. <laughs> don't suppose you're looking to buy something. All right, just don't buy everything up. And not even half of what the son of a gun. He's sending it back for pennies. Um. What's going on with his stamina? Oh, threatened. Oh, no. I want to look at Alistair for this. Damage goes up. And Oath Keeper. Armor penetration. Healing. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a great sword. guy may have traps oh girl Come on, my guy. But I know you don't have what anything. Not it? you. Luck speed your way. You. Well, as I still don't have food to sell. What you got? Any traps? You do have traps. Trigger. You have eleven. It doesn't hurt. Maybe this is the one she needed. Let's 
go to the barrel so then we can I think that's everything that would be everything here. Just make it up. I hope I just more soldiers make it stuff up. Stuff for nothing. So much tragedy. The bandits are back again. Fine. Right, we can. I guess we can go to the bridge. Up here. I think there's nothing else. Nothing else. 